I've been assassin. I write the way you swing a trend, you think you rock I write the tank, hawk stuff, sound like you're fine. I write our team with my. Hey, what's up, my loungies? Welcome to Etoxic Tea Lounge. Everything in this video is allegedly less chat. Disclaimer, I do not condone in any form of bullying or violence on this platform. Anything in this video is for information purposes and also entertainment purposes only. Okay, remember, no bullying or violence. This platform also consists of celebrity drama, rumors, opinions, roasting, tea, with some shade. So if you are sensitive to people's opinions, this will not be the platform for you. In this segment... We are going to be talking about Charleston White. We got some Beyonce. We got Chris Sales and Naja. Okay, we got Ken Barbie and Akbar V. And then we got some updates with Tory Lanez, Ariana, and Meg the Stallion. And we got Scarlett. So, but before we get into all of this mess and this tea, please make sure to like this video. I need y'all to run it up with likes and comments. Let's go. And please make sure to subscribe. Thanks. Charleston White. Okay, y'all gotta stop playing with Unk. Okay, listen, he is not, he is old. He's not gonna be fighting. So in this video, he is pepper spraying a man. I guess a man wanted to fight him. I don't know. But is he wrong? Hell no. Because at a certain age and a certain point of your life, who the hell got time to do that? <laughs> Okay, he always got to pull out a weapon because blood can't fight but talk stuff like he can. I mean, a lot of people should be able to talk and say whatever they want to say without somebody having to be big mad to put hands on them. I don't blame him. Leave that man alone. He ain't doing nothing to y'all. Right, some people just be wanting to test him. But, you know, Charleston do be a little troll, so we don't know. I guess when you old and your fist fighting days are long past you, you got to do what you got to do. Exactly. And I stand on this statement right here. But also, not even about age. Do you understand what I did? Nowadays, people be doing too much. There's never one-on-ones. There's always jumping or there's always weapons pulled out. Your life could be at risk. It's for nothing. Okay? So I always say, don't physically fight if you don't have to or if you don't want to. Okay, and that's just how it is. I'm all for the pepper spray. I'm all for the defending yourself. I don't care what it is. Okay, don't approach people that don't want to fight. Leave them alone. Okay, y'all want to play big macho woman and man? Do that with somebody else that got time for that. Because nowadays, the world that we live in, nobody got time to be physically fighting over words. Nowadays, people, oh, you doing that online? Oh, look, oh, you said this to me. Like, I'm going to see you. Like, grow up. Now, Beyonce attended her ex-assistant's wedding, okay? Her name is Sam, okay? And a lot of people seen this and was like, look, Jay-Z also was there. Blue Ivy was there. Blue Ivy looked so grown right now. Like, she just so, looked so older, okay? And also, Beyonce was having a good old time on the dance floor with her ex-assistant um, singing her song, Okay, and we're going to get into this because this is a good thing. This is like, this is like very calm and she looks like she's having fun. You know, sometimes you just need that break to have a little bit of fun in your life. And this shows that she supports her and she, they was very close when she was working for her. Child, if Beyonce at my wedding, it's me and Beyonce's wedding. Sorry to that man. <laughs> The fact that Beyonce can party and have fun like this at her ex-assistant's wedding tells me everything I need to know about the type of boss she is to her employees. Right. I love this. As much as I want her in our faces 24-7, I love that she's living her life, vacationing, spending time with her man and kids. She truly deserves it. No one has worked harder than she has for the past 27 years. 27 years on top of mama deserves to slow down. Watching all of this footage of Beyonce at her former assistant's wedding is so bittersweet. One, on the hand, one hand, it's so nice to see her happy and dancing at a wedding like a normal person. On the other hand, I hate that she really can't go nowhere without people filming her. Beyonce dancing with you at your wedding like some people are really God's favorite. So some people are looking at that like, I wish it was me. I don't know why. Whew. 
The way she came dressed like a regular person to not outshine the bride because if Beyonce came to my wedding, she can only stay like 30 minutes. I'm the only celebrity here, queen. I know that's right. But listen, people said what they had to say. It is a fresh of breath air when you see people having fun. They're not uptight. They're not serious in life all the damn time. And, you know, Beyonce's Beyonce. She has a very large fan base. A very, like, I think all of the set up celebrities that have these fan bases have a lot of obsessed fans, delusional ones. But I'm glad that she's safe and she's out having fun. She's with her family and she's shown her support to a former assistant, as she should. Now, let's get into Chris Sales. Okay, y'all know he has been trolling lately. And the topic, Queen Naja, his baby mother. Okay, so we're going to get into some of these videos and everything else. Now, Queen had put out this bride to be. All right, people was like, she's trolling, she's trolling. But I guess she wanted to, you know, feel the energy and just touch the grass a little bit. Trying to act like I'm happy when really I'm hurting for real, for real. Uh, I'm sick. Y'all, give me something else to react to on my TikTok besides this. Because y'all want me to do this, clearly. And what I mean by y'all, nobody. I wanted to do it. <laughs> but no, on a serious note, bro. Um, but no, no trolls. look really happy, though. For real, for real, look real happy. Let me know down in the comments below. Do you think that Chris really feels some type of way that Queen Naja moved on, had kids and everything else? Do you think that if he had a chance and Queen would take him back, would he take it? I think so. I think that he's trolling, but half of it is true, his true feelings. That's just how I feel. He ain't get he ain't come across nobody like Queen Naja, like And I'm not even trolling right now, bro. On GD. My baby mama's still cute though, one, bro. I ain't gonna lie, every time I see her out in public, she don't be wanna look at me in the eyes. She know why. She know she still love me. Yeah. <laughs> hey, let me stop. My bad, Claire. My bad. I'm done. I this is my last video. I'm done. I'm done trolling. I'm um, bro. I'm trying to act like I'm happy when really I'm hurting for real, for real. Now, regarding the bride to be video, Queen said this is clearly trolling. But even if it was real, look at how people find something negative regardless. That's why I'm going to the courthouse. Okay, so she, I, like I said, she wanted to test the waters. And then we're going to get into something else. Let's get into this. So Miss Queen decided that she wanted to troll, made a video, which we're going to get into. And she bought a fake engagement ring to put on to lollygag around with it. See it. Yeah, y'all. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna show y'all my engagement ring. Um, <laughs> I mean, honestly, like it's really like a ring. Like it's really my engagement ring. I love it. I bought it for myself um, from Walmart, so it's really nice and big. I didn't really want to go with nothing like real. I just wanted it to be fake. You know, bling bling. Screenshot this, y'all. Oh, my God. <laughs> wow. <laughs> now, it might be her trying to do it a hee-hee-ha-ha -ha trolling moment. But in all reality, knowing the backstory and she really want to get married and she's really always bringing it up and she really feeling some type of way about it. Actually, it's kind of a concern. Okay? And we're going to get into some people's comments because some people are concerned. They like... She is, like, withering away in front of everybody's eyes, okay? Me, personally, I think her and Clarence is a little bit on the rocks, in my opinion. And she also put this out. The woman in me realized that no matter what I change, it's clear I can never change your mind. And in her latest song, I must have been crazy thinking it'll be different all because I had your baby. Couldn't have gave you more love. There's nothing I could do to save us. And I'm starting to feel like everyone's telling the truth. About how you can't force a man to choose you. I guess good girls finish last no matter what we do. No fear. I know it's going to hurt for a while when you're not here. But it'll hurt me more to stay. How can I expect for you to try when you don't know what you... Girl, I got this from Macy's. This is so cute. 
I got my own, like, honestly, this is so cute. I love this. So I just walk around with it when I'm out in public. So, you know, anybody want to give me a ring on here? Can y'all like, um, give me a ring? Oh, wait, y'all. To be honest with you, if y'all been watching my channel and we ever touch bases on the marriage topic, y'all already know how I feel about it. Um, I don't understand why she going this hard. Like, all right, held me down and wiped off all my makeup so I couldn't go out. The list goes on, though. Somebody asked, can we start an evil ex thread? What's the worst thing an ex has done to you? Hmm. Would you ever consider acting? Yes, I actually turned down a few roles lately because I'm trying to focus on my album. Okay, so she she know where she's heading. Why do you keep subbing your man and your ex on here? I'm not subbing a soul. Okay, so she calling cap. She like, I'm not even talking about the men. Mm -hmm. If you need to see something negative in order to excite you or in order to get a good laugh, seek help. Okay, so she's on her Twitter just putting out certain things. Somebody says, the way he keeps speaking on her, you can tell he got enjoyment from tearing her down. She says, exactly, he does. Imagine behind closed doors. He's always taunting me like a demon. Hmm. Let me tell y'all something. Let me tell y'all something. I know I be trolling and help clear about time, man. I ain't gonna lie to it. If you did do that, I salute you. I salute you. No, I don't. I don't salute you. But if you did do that, I'm happy for both of y'all. Not really. I'm not really happy for y'all. Why do I keep lying? It's not that I don't care. Okay, I don't care. I keep lying. Let me stop. Okay, at the end of the day, you did what you did. But at the end of the day, the day got to end. <laughs> All right, come on. Was, or if they're really engaged and just not telling anyone. What y'all think? I think they're trolling. She got that from daddy. Sure, he got that from daddy, that trolling stuff. You feel me? She got that from daddy. So I don't know if they're trolling or not, but you know, y'all y'all know I'm a troll, man. Y'all know I'm a troll. Not daddy. What? Chris, now you know. You better cut it out. Queen you gonna flame that ass. I'm telling you right now. But listen. I tell, I could tell that he feels some type of way still. If Queen and Clarence got married, of course he probably would feel some type of way. That's just how I feel. He would probably feel like, damn, she's a real good woman. I did her wrong. Now the next man married her, got kids with her, all type of stuff. Hmm. Hmm. Let's get into the rest of this, T. I had to come tell my side of the story. Look, I'm about to tell you what my BM said. Look. While he's laughing at me, I hope this coin he's making off my name helped with some of his son expenses. Um, Cause I gave him grace by not putting him on child support. First of all, you make more money than me on my soul. What you talking about? And you know, if you did ask me for money, you know, I'm gonna give you the little change I do got for my son. Come on, I don't do that. The, this whole time we've been separated, you have never asked me for money for our son. And I have never asked you for money for our son when he's with me. I mean, I agree with him on there because if y'all both are sharing custody, whatever type of arrangement y'all got, when the child is in your care, you're responsible for the child when they're in your care. When they're not out of your care, you know, phone calls and stuff like that. But financially, I just feel like, you know, that's what happens unless one is slacking and, you know, y'all help each other. That's different. But I understand what he's saying. Like, he does what he has to do for his child when his child is with him. That's good that he even still around his son. So, how did the child support even get brought up? I understand you're frustrated, but you don't put somebody on child support that take care of their child or have a relationship with their child and wants to be with their child. And then it's okay for you to speak your truth about his dad online in interviews but then when his dad come out and start speaking his truth i haven't taught my son anything i'm a narcissist i haven't grown over the past couple years well damn how you know i ain't grown over the past couple years now 
I don't know how much communication that Queen and Chris has, like on the phone, texting regarding their son or whatever the case may be, or even personal. I don't know the concept of that relationship because if she has not had conversations with him or been around him and stuff, she doesn't know if he has any type of growth from the years that they have been separated. But a lot of the people will go by his online actions and what he's doing and how he's trolling and what he's saying to make it seem as if he ain't really, you know, grown up too much. And and that's what I would do because I don't know him personally. I would go by what he's saying and his actions online. And from how he's been moving and all the clout chasing things that he's been doing to, I don't even know, to get attention, it's a little lame to me. I'm confused. How you know that? And then you said I ain't taught our son nothing valuable. How you know that unless you turned it to Siri and you be eavesdropping in our conversations when he's over here? How do you know I haven't taught our son of the valuable? Can you please answer me that? Please. I'll wait. And then you say, I made you insecure. How? Oh, when you was already insecure, I may have added a little razzle dazzle to it. But at the end of the day, what young couple haven't? Shit, I was insecure in our relationship. At least he's admitting to, you know, adding on to her insecurities. And uh, Naja, please, you know you had some insecurities before you was with Chris. A, a lot of people have insecurities about something, especially if you're going into something already having trust issues or whatever the case may be. So I felt like that was Cap. I felt like sometimes she doesn't take accountability for her actions and for the things she say and do, you know, or just speak out truthfully I, I started wearing makeup shit and then you said it's crazy another man had to step up in my child's life as if i'm an absent dad stepping up in which way stepping up because he have to because he's there with you because he's staying there with you like of course he's going to step up obviously well that is true because whoever you decide to deal with your kids and whatever else comes along right with you right and if somebody is not respectful to your kids or act whatever way then they need to go because you're not looking for a temporary stuff when you're dealing with people you're looking for longevity right but it doesn't always mean marriage so let's stop right there i would hope you wouldn't be with them if you didn't step up but at the end of the day, that's not like I'm an absent dad or that I don't take care of my child. Because I do. And my and my son know that he it, everything that my son asked me for, he got it. When he's over there with you, he's still calling and asking me for stuff. Whether it's V-Bucks, anything, he know he got it. Only thing I haven't got my son is a monkey. Because who the f*** about to... I'm not taking care of no damn monkey and I know it can't go over there. Yeah, a monkey is crazy. It seems like a lot of people are having monkeys for pets. How do y'all feel about that? Do anybody out there got a monkey? Or do you want a monkey? And why would you want a monkey? And why do you have a monkey? <laughs> They're all a little cute, but... Mm. But anyways, let me know how y'all feel about what Chris had to say. Um, Do you think that this stuff is even relevant? Like, I know Queen is subbing, because that's what she do. She even put it in her music. You could tell by her music that she and Clarence is not... 100% good and who the hell is 100% good anyways but let's get into some of these comments I want a queen nausea baby daddy to go away laughing my butt off he's embarrassing okay yeah a little bit <laughs> I want queen nausea to recognize her value sweetheart you are a treasure and if that gentleman isn't ready for commitment move on you are the one bringing home the bacon Ooh, i know we joke on queen naja but she's clearly going through something getting on live to admit you bought yourself a fake engagement ring to wear in public someone needs to get her out of that relationship as soon as possible something really off with um about queen naja okay so some people are peeping some energy shifting they are going so hard on queen naja for buying a fake engagement ring they are because who the hell does that like what i love queen naja but her buying herself a fake engagement ring is wild she's tweaking out bad 
okay? Somebody call the doctor. This dumb girl, Queen Naja, bought herself a fake engagement ring. Wasn't she just fake mad at Chris for trolling her relationship? That's why I don't like her and be believing her desperate ass. Yeah, Clarence, make her wait another six years. Wow. So that's how y'all feel? No, let me stop. But yeah, buying yourself a fake engagement ring, going on live and talking about it like, oh yeah, I bought my fake engagement ring because I just be wanting to, you know, when I'm out and stuff like, what? You that desperate for a ring and for marriage? Girl, ooh wee, that's not a good look. Because baby, you've been hinting about marriage and conversations and little gestures and all type of stuff. And that man ain't budging. And if he do budge, it's it's a force, okay? Pressure is put on this man. If he don't want to marry you, maybe he don't believe in marriage. Maybe he's just not ready. Maybe it's going to take another six, seven years. Who knows? She's not willing to wait, so she might have to make some changes. Listen, Akbar has some things that she wanted to say. Mind you, remember, she said she's going to stay out of people's business, especially if she don't know the whole story, blah, blah, blah. But guess who business she in? Ken Barbies. Of course, somebody that's on Cardi team. Like, why she even had to insert herself? Had nothing to do with her. So Ken Barbie said, damn, some of y'all might owe Jay-Z an apology. Apparently, the hosting city makes the final decision on the halftime show performer. And y'all can pause to read what they issued their statement okay right here next to the picture she says ken stay out of black folks business this is our culture girl first i'm definitely a black man born in virginia where many of the most celebrated figures in hip-hop came from secondly girl you own kids that don't listen <laughs> to you so why should anyone else you need to worry about your life you crippled, crooked, toe, deadbeat. You're an uncultured swine Akbar, so don't try to race bait just so someone might agree with your bullcrap. Go raise them black folks you gave birth to. That's the culture you should be concerned with. Got that little black boy fighting for his life in his own home. Go train your kids. They hate you and you're busy worried about someone online. You don't. No. Okay, let that sink in. Speak when your kids listen to you and when your fave stops treating you like her do anything itch. You always insert yourself where it never concerns you. He's a blogger, you dumb girl. Girl, get the F and F you. Worry about taking care of them badass kids that don't like you. Itch, the culture don't want you. We would gladly trade you for someone else. Girl, you gonna be 40 years old still trying to get your career started. So demure of you to know your place and stay in the back unseen. Now, can Barbie post content, okay? Entertainment content, celebrity gossip, all that stuff that we do. This is things that we post. And we might throw a little opinion in there. But Ken Barbie did nothing wrong. He didn't talk to Akbar directly, didn't shade her, no sub. It had nothing, I mean nothing, to do with her. So girl, you got roasted and you need to go sit down. Because at the end of the day, Akbar always talking about something. I'm going to mind my business. Oh, people fake this, this and this and that. And then she turned around and she's trying to cause more drama. It's a difference if you out there just giving your opinions about a lot of the things that's going on, but you're directly trying to insult somebody and try to brew up imaginary beef so you can have your name living on the social media world. Like nobody is going to have no type of sympathy for you, girl. It's time to pack it up. Now let's get into some updates. Okay, we got Tori, Ariana and Meg and we have Scarlett. So if you got this far in the video, please make sure to like. Tory Lanez, we already spoke about it. They raided his cell, took his music, uh, recording equipment, and some people were saying allegedly that Rock Nation might be a part of it. So guess what? Tory came out and make a statement. Yes, he's out and he's speaking about it, and it's some shocking things. 
The rumors are true. The prison tapes will be discontinued until further notice. However, I think it's important that my fans know the truth about the crooked ass sh that's really going on here. My cell was not raided and trashed because I learned how to record myself in prison or because I created the prison tapes. I was shut down because the higher ups figured out what I was really, really doing with the prison tapes and how many inmates were being helped in a life changing way because of them. Since the first day I was incarcerated, all I've seen is blacks and other minorities receive the most cruel, illegal, and unfair punishment slash treatment. For so many nights, I asked God to reveal his purpose in making me go through the ills of the prison system. I was later shown that purpose. I was placed in a jail to suffer, to feel, and to witness firsthand the pain and oppression being inflicted upon the young black and brown men and women of my generation. I knew I had to change this injustice, so I made a plan that when I got to prison, I would figure out a way to record music and put all the proceeds towards the legal representation of my fellow inmates, giving them a once-in-a-lifetime chance to go home to their families and appeal and resentencing. Although the higher-ups have stopped at the prison tapes temporarily, they were too late to stop my overall plan. Since the month of July, I've afforded legal representation for 472 inmates and actively reopened 476 cases with the help of legal firm Unite the People. So many inmates will be returned to their families and loved ones. I'm naming this the Hands of God Project. Lastly, they know I'm a threat and they don't want me saying or doing this. So if anything happens to me, just know I went out in the blaze of glory trying to revolutionize the end of a mass incarceration era on our people. I mean, that is a good thing. Okay. Um, and who y'all think the higher ups are? Let me know down in the comments who y'all think he talking about. Okay. Because clearly them higher ups is the one stopping him from a lot of things okay and that's a good thing that he's being positive in jail and he's helping others and everything else of that nature let me know how y'all feel about that and he said if anything happens to him so he might think that something will happen to him because of the movements that he's doing or what he's trying to do hmm who's trying to silence Tory Lanez now, Ariana Grande was showing a lot of love to Megan Thee Stallion. Some people online are not liking it. You know the talk is going to be happening. So Megan reposted what Ariana put out. Okay, I adore the Stallion. We are really, y'all can pause to read that. Um, right here, she's reposting Megan Thee Stallion on voting in 2024 election. So she's with the voting to be alive in a lifetime where a black woman or a woman at all could be the president. I feel so blessed. So she is reposting things about Megan the Stallion. Let me know how y'all feel about that. And do y'all think a collab might be coming? And who you think gonna be mad at this? I had to just put this out there. Who the F said I'm a trans? Here she go. Talking about her looks and wanting the sympathy thing. Girl... If you don't go ahead and sit down somewhere, like, we understand, mama, you got some insecurities, but you don't have to keep blasting it out online. Do people really need to know if anybody asked if you was trans? A lot of people think people trans or say they look like they trans or whatever. <laughs> you ain't the first and you ain't the last, girl. But anyways, how do y'all feel about everything in this video? Okay, I want y'all to let me know about Charleston White. Are you a macer? Are you a fighter? What would you prefer? Me, personally, I don't like wasting my energy. So, if I don't have to, I'm not going to. So, yeah, I'll start for pepper spray your butt and keep it moving. And you're going to have to feel that burn. Because at the end of the day, I choose what energy I'm going to be, you know, releasing. And me fighting over stupid stuff is not, you know, not something I do. And I don't care what I say online. I don't care how my mouth is. That don't give nobody no reason to get all up in their feelings, be big mad, and show all of this weak behavior and want to put hands on somebody because you can't handle the truth or you can't handle words. <laughs> but anyways, how do y'all feel about Chris Sales and Naj and Queen? Because mm, do y'all think they're going to have to have this baby daddy, baby mama drama online antics back and forth subbing and stuff for, uh, forever? 
or you think that somebody on one of the sides is going to grow up and just like leave each other alone like we understand that y'all share child but sharing a child does not give a reason for anybody on any side to be annoying <laughs> that's just how i feel i feel like certain people can't deal with that like me personally i can't deal with people annoying because i will part ways from you i just don't want that energy i don't like being annoyed okay um but let me know how y'all feel about Ken Barbie and Ak Barbie. Do you think that Ak Barbie had a, a a reason to say get out of black people business? Like, girl, shut up. Like, now everything all in my black people business and this black people talk. Like, shut up, Ak Bar. Shut up, okay? You always trying to make it something that is not supposed to be. Every time somebody don't have nothing to say or they're bored or they just want to insert themselves like Akbar did, they want to bring race or color into something to make it bigger than than what it is. Like, it had nothing to do with color. Like, people could have opinions and people could post whatever content they want, no matter what color, what race or nationali- nationality somebody is. Like, what? Akbar, who the hell you think you are? But anyways, because y'all already know Akbar, she be doing too much and she's always trying to play innocent. I'm going to change my life. But then she turned around five seconds. She's back on the same bullcrap. Like, girl, save it with that damn talk because we don't want to hear it no more. Um, Tory Lanez, I hope nothing happens to him. Free Tory Lanez, I said what I said. I miss his music. I was really looking forward to this prison tapes. I'm not even going to lie to you. Okay, who else was waiting for his music? Because I am. All right. Now, anyways, I love y'all. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, share, and click the notification bell. And if you have anything that y'all want to talk about, you know, send it to my Instagram, Oni Toxic Tea Lounge. And I guess I'll see y'all in the next video. Until then, to the loose, bye. I brought a G wagon. That shit was a rabbit. That's why I be racing. Yeah, we brought the four door. Had to get ready for war. Yeah, we brought the four door. Had to get ready for war. Yeah, we brought the four door. Had to get ready for war. Yeah.